Hey guys, Simi from MalaysianVapatic.com with a new review for you guys and today I'm going to review some wicks, okay, some wicks and uh, some wicks, okay, some wicking material, this is from Stay Alive Wicks, um, basically this is the, they call this the organic uh, wick, okay, and you know, let's go to their page for a while, Stay Alive Wicks, uh, facebook.com slash stay alive wicks, that's where I, uh, they sent this to me for a review, okay, I have a few packs here, this is only just a few, okay? I literally have a whole bag. Okay, guys. Okay, and why do I need so much? I do not need so much, so this bag will be for giveaway, okay? And how I'm gonna do the giveaway, stay tuned on my page. I'll probably just give it uh, to some people, first comes first serve basis kind of thing. So, what is it? They gave me two types of wicking material. One is a cotton wick. And one is cotton pads. Uh, both of these are organic, non-bleach, uh, healthy cotton, non-chemical filters, not use uh, genet genetically modified seeds. Okay, so basically they're trying, the whole uh, vision of this company is trying to give you the best uh, wicking material possible uh, for the best flavor and also um, safest picking material because as you guys know silica is not really very safe and eco wool too okay so uh the cotton pads are made in japan 100 percent made in japan and the cotton wigs are 100 percent made in great britain okay so england japan is um the retail price for this is actually pretty decent okay uh for the cotton pads for five pads you five pad looks like this um it's only five ringgit and for the cotton wigs you get Four meters of this and it's only 10 ringgit so it's it's a very cheap price it's the, I think the standard price for wicks and you know very nice I have the cotton pads in my dripper I've already uh, re-wicked it in a video I'm gonna show you guys uh, after this if you guys wanna watch the video stay tuned to the end I'll show you guys how to put the, the stuff up okay and the my k-fun I have the organic wicks okay this wicks so Let's have a little bit, I'll show you guys how to build it up, and then let's go do the review. So hey guys, I have my wick, and I'm gonna ready to do it, and it's an easy trick I do always is, you know, you just take some canthal, so you can pull it through easily. Um, it's quite a thick wick, so I'm not sure if they will fit in. I have to do it through the camera, because this kind of thing is new to me, okay? <laughs> Serious. I'm not used to showing re-wicking videos, but I'll try. Let's put it through. I think this is the easiest way to put through wicks, okay? Just put it through, pull it through, hold your coil in. Yep, it fits pretty darn nicely. Okay, so you just take it out. Take this wire out. And just like normal K-Fans, you know, what I like to do is I like to put the chimney on. Okay, put the chimney on with these two wicks in there. If I can do it in front of the camera, which is quite difficult, to be honest with you. Okay, just pull it through. Or you can just estimate it. Okay, for me, it's quite difficult. Just pull it through. I don't think you guys can see that. Due to my hand. Come on, put it in there. Get it in there, mate. All right. So you just put it through. Thread. This is a K fun light. I guess I'm wondering. It's an authentic one. The threads are awesome, actually, but I don't know why it's not threading properly. It's old. Okay, it's an old K fun. So basically, I will cut it about. Leave about that much space. Okay. And you just fill your juice in. So I'm gonna fill some of my juice I wanna put in here. Okay, the syringe. Just fill it in there. On the side. Can't really see that. Hopefully I'm not gonna make a mess here. Okay. So basically what you do is you tuck in tuck it into the sides. Okay, so this side you tuck it all the way in. And the other side you tuck away all the way in. I can see this. Okay, tuck it in there. Put some juice, wet it up, tuck it in there. This one too. 
and you should be vaping just fine okay so there you go okay looks looks decent to me it's pretty decent and it will just fit just fine fine so yeah uh, so you guys I just showed you guys how to wick them uh, organic wicks so now I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, wick the cotton pads okay so basically on um, the cotton pads they come in like cotton pads okay <laughs> it comes with five so you just take like one strip out okay just uh, I have here my SOD 5k it's a 28 gauge coil it's quite an old coil but you know I'm just gonna show you guys how to re-wick this because a lot of people want to see it okay for some reason some people want to see it so I'm gonna show you I'm not the best in doing this but what I do on a vertical coil is just put it in okay just put it in it's quite hard to show you so I have to do it a bit off camera okay just put it in until you see like a tail okay and you take the tweezers and just pull it through this is so hard to do on camera I have no idea how rip trippets do all these things okay so basically you just pull and this is with my left hand too okay so basically you pull it through and you just pull it all the way through if it fits okay for me yeah just let it go through if it's tight it's fine that's why I like it okay when it's a bit loose that's when you think it's perfect so that's how you do it okay just put it there um, get your scissors out obviously uh, the top part depends how much you want to leave I normally snip it off just a bit okay just like this so this part is just you know sitting on top here so the juice when you drip from the top part the juice will just flow in and this long part it doesn't matter how long it is just stick it in there so let me get my juice I'll dip some mango juice in this thing okay so basically just drip some there just let it sit on top here this is how I do it anyways put it here this a lot so you can put it all the way in the bottom you just stuff it in there might be a bit too much so you can cut it off no problem whatsoever so I'm gonna cut this part off okay normally you can't on a dripper that's not that's not really uh, too much okay you can put as much cotton as you want fill the whole deck if you need to but for me I like to feel it like that put some inside the back of the coil okay see the inside there put some there should be vaping good okay that's good that's vaping good vaping nicely so yeah that's about it that's how you wake uh, some organic cotton on your vertical coils if you guys want to know that yep that's guys i'm back for the review so this is the review of this uh organic uh, wicks okay so the first one i'm gonna do is the cotton pads the cotton pads is really nice um it's easy to do it for some reason i feel like it has uh, more stretch to it so it's i feel like it's kind of more of a quality kind of cotton uh, personal opinion um and yeah i have it in my dripper as you guys see I, I i made a video of it hopefully you guys can see how to put it through some people you know not everyone knows how to wick a coil some people really never done it before okay so I have it in my dripper here, I'm vaping at 22 watts, this is a 1.8 ohm coil. That crack is scary, but it's nice, okay, it's been wicking really well. Uh, when you first put it in, vape it straight away, no funky taste, no cottonish taste, that's my experience, okay. It vapes really well. Putting out the clouds, okay. Um, the cotton is, as I said, a really nice, no funky taste. That's the most important part. When you buy a cotton, like if you buy like normal uh, Watson cottons, okay, when you first buy them, they're decent. But after a while, they just have this really funky taste to it. And you need to have like probably a half an hour of vape till the cotton taste goes away. This one straight off, put it in. No, no, no funky taste at all. Very good. I tried these cotton pads in my K fund too. Uh, no, no wicking issues whatsoever. It's it's working just as it is. Okay, so let's put my K fund on. 
This one has, as you guys seen in the video, the organic cotton wicks instead of the pads. Been vaping this a while. Let's change my voltage. I mean wattage. Wow. Well, um, this one is a point one point one ohm coil. I'm vaping it at only thirteen watts. Sweet spot there. Again, no funky taste. Um, straight up the bat. It actually wicks really well. Okay, and usually on my K5, I use the cotton pads. I don't really use uh, cotton wicks, but I've tried this on, and it it's been wicking fine. Okay, no problems, no dry hits. It's a 50-50 blend juice, and it works well. So yeah, um, that's all I can say about this wicks, okay, Wick, wicks, cotton wicks, okay, uh, there's not much to talk about, all I can say, the most important part, it wicks well, it does not have funky taste, so, in my opinion, that's a thumbs up for this uh, brand, okay, uh, organic by Stay Alive Wicks, a really, really nice way to get this, uh, facebook.com slash stayalivewicks, and also, uh, go to my page, facebook.com slash malaysianvapeaddict, I'll be doing a giveaway for them wicks, I'll probably do it, like in a two week period, probably one week I'll give like four packs away and another week four packs away. So yeah, that's about it for this uh, review. Hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah, stay cool. Vape on.